Sesame. All right, so summer is around the corner. Before you know it, it's gonna be super hot. The sun's gonna be shining every single day and we're gonna to wanna to be protected, right, with sunscreen and things like that. If you have little ones, obviously I do, my twins are one, um, you wanna figure out like what the best swimsuit is for them and what the best options are for you and your family. So it's funny, because last summer, Aza and Maxon were only like two months old when I put them in their first swimsuit and I got this little itty bitty like cute bikini for Aza and um, Maxon had like these little swim trunks and I put them in there we went to the beach I was so like scared about the Sun and, and sunblock and things like that because I don't even think you can put sun sunblock on kids that are that young so you just have to keep them out of the Sun so my husband and I bought a tent like a legit camping tent canopy thing that day um, just to make sure that we were like protected and like in it and I posted a picture of Aza in her bikini um, I'll show it to you right now. It was this one. Look how cute she looks, right? I got like mommy shame by putting this picture of them. They're like, she should not be wearing that bikini. First of all, she's she's too young and baby girls should not wear bikinis and blah, blah. I was like, relax everybody. I'm not even, she's not even in the sun. Like, you know, it was just, it's literally just for the gram, it's for the cuteness of it. Um, but obviously this year they're walking, well, Maxon's almost walking, Aze is walking, and they're gonna be a lot more active in the sun this year. I won't be able to keep them in the shade 24 seven. Um, these are some of my go-to swim attire, I guess you can say, for kids. So for Maxon, I got this rash guard. I like the rash guards that have the zipper because this way it's just easier to put them on or off the kids. Um, he's got these little swim trunks. I'm kind of just mix matching a bunch of different stuff from different brands and different stores. And then for Aza, it's something very similar. So it's just a little rash guard like this, and then a little bikini bottoms. I actually think obviously this has a bikini top as well, but I'll probably most likely just have her in this rash guard most of the time. And then the most important thing that you really sometimes don't think about as a parent or even as an adult is protection on their heads. Like Aza has no hair, so I always wanna keep her head protected. I always put some sort of hat on her. And then um, with Maxon, he's got hair, but you still wanna protect their, their and this protects their face and everything from the sun. So um, I think it's very important to use sunblock as much as possible on kids. My parents, I feel like, never put sunblock on me when I was a kid. I don't know if that's like, if that's how it was with you, but like, they, I swear, they were never like putting sunblock on me. Um, obviously, it's, the times have changed and you gotta be a little bit more diligent with that stuff. That's just my tips for the summer and let me know what you got going on or maybe let me know what, how you feel about two pieces because I don't hate them. Like I think they're cute and she's still gonna have her little rash guard and she's wearing a bikini bottom. Obviously I could just do one piece with the rash guard but I like the bikinis. I think they're really cute. Let me know what you think.